Hi, today's good person to know is Charlie Mullins. He's Managing Director of Pimico Plumbers. Charlie started off as an apprentice when he left school at the age of 15. He saw an opportunity and in 1979 he founded his business. It's very much a family business and now has over 200 employees. Charlie believes the reason for his success boils down to quality of service and that people will always pay for quality. He says Pimico Plumbers have all the right ingredients. It's about being tidy, honest, transparent, reliable and says that anyone has potential to be successful. It's about enthusiasm and the will to want to succeed. Now it wasn't always plain sailing for Charlie. In the last recession he was almost made bankrupt. He went to see two liquidators. The first one said he had to close shop. The second one said you had to close shop, that you were going to lose your house but that you may as well fight. And fighting is what he did. His number one tip for anyone out there is to retain your customers. Now that might be obvious but in the last recession Charlie almost went bankrupt and in this recession he sailed through it all. Of the 1800 calls to 2000 jobs he has each week 75 to 80% of those are from people who've used Pimlico plumbers in the past and therefore he really has learned from his past mistakes. Not only that, Charlie says just to keep going that what you put into the company is what you're going to get out and that just to keep fighting and that hard work really does pay off. So if you're a budding entrepreneur, a tradesman, a student, anybody with oodles of enthusiasm and a can-do attitude then this video is definitely for you. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. Pimlico plumbers has sort of uh, grown over a number of years now and um you know, quite slowly really, probably, you know, we're going 30 odd years I think now. Um, but sort of more so now we seem to be sort of, you know, very much sort of at the front of it or top of the business now, you know, and uh, certainly, you know, that's where I wanted to get and that's where we uh, want to stay, obviously. Um, but to maintain that, you know, you, you have to sort of uh, keep changing things and keep improving things. We do quite a lot of press, quite a bit of television things and uh, uh, sort of, also work with the government of getting youngsters into work, so very much into uh, you know youngsters starting off, um, you know ideally into apprentice or into any business. Uh, very keen on sort of uh, entrepreneurs and budding entrepreneurs and people starting up a business because uh, you know I, I believe it's the way forward and uh, there's so much more help out there today from people like us, television programs, websites. Um, and, and I think it's a lot simpler today. I think it's really a case of people believing in themselves and getting on with it. You can always buy brains, you know, but you can't buy enthusiasm. So for me, it's more important that you've got enthusiasm and the will to want to succeed. But you know, you buy brains all day long, you know what I mean? They're, they're not complicated. Um, <laughs> no, they're not. You know, people think that you know, you've got to be clever to run a business. Um, you know, I know a lot of clever people and, uh, you know, they sweep roads, you know what I mean, because they haven't got the enthusiasm. So, you know, it's all about enthusiasm uh, in a business and, and, again, you know, people that want to succeed. And I don't think there's, there's anything beyond us. Um, you know, when I first started off, I only ever wanted to be a plumber. You know, that would have done me forever. And then, you know, you see sort of different openings and you realise that you can succeed in life and uh, I don't believe there's anybody who can't succeed you know I believe it's a level playing field out there and uh, again I go back to what I'm saying it's all about you know how much you want it you know for, for us it's definitely quality of service um, people will always buy quality and um, you know the product that we sort of sell or pass on to people is definitely a top service and uh, you know there ain't no substitute for that the sort of things that we're, we're reliable we're tidy outfit we're transparent we're an honest company we get the job finished. They're all the sort of right things in a business, and um, you know, uh, again, you know, I have to sort of say our reputation over the years has built up, and it's built up purely because of quality of service. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we're not a cheap outfit. Over the years, I mean, in the last recession, we nearly went bust. Um, you know, and it was quite a learning sort of lesson. You know, we totally had it wrong. Um, you know, I think we had the, the quality of service there, but we just didn't have the right people delivering it. So. You know, that was back in sort of 1990 and we changed all their staff since then, everybody's changed and uh, got a different outlook on it, you know, more sort of serious. Um, you know, again, you know, when you nearly go bust, I mean, I went to see two liquidators, you know, so that's how close it was. And uh, first liquidator said, you know, how much money have you got? And I said, nothing. And I think we owed about a quarter of a mil or something and he said, well, it ain't complicated, you need to pack it all in and then you know my ass was at the end of it and I want to see another liquidator second opinion and he said um, you know you're going to lose your ass you if you pack it in you're going to lose your ass so you might as well fight for it and uh, you know that gave me the sort of 
enthusiasm to think, well, if there is a fighting chance, then, then, then to go for it. Um, and, and again, it made me sort of change everything. So lots of mistakes on the way. I mean, you can't run a business without making mistakes. But, you know, the way I sort of work it out now is that you can't get everything right. As long as you get more right than, than wrong. And, uh, you know, I think that'll keep you going, you know. Cheaper plumbers are not worth two bob, you know what I mean? So you're sort of going backwards, you know. So, you know, we, we decided to actually get better plumbers in, you know, pay the plumber more and actually increase their prices, believe it or not. Uh, and again, I'll go back to what I'm saying. Certainly in plumbing, uh, people will always pay for a quality service. And, you know, I believe that is the same case for many, many businesses. I mean, I don't do anybody, I don't do any business with any business unless they offer me a top quality service. So they're the ones to get my business and I, and I think, you know, that's the way forward. I think it's very important to retain customers. I know it, it, it's an obvious thing, but it's something I wasn't aware of when I first started business. And, um, you know, we certainly sort of really work on retaining customers now. And um, we've still got some customers from when, when I was uh, uh, first started off, you know. I mean, most of them are dead, but, you know, still a few of them. <laughs> but, but the point I'm really saying is that it's so important to retain customers. And um, we probably deal with about 1,800, 2,000 jobs a week. And something like 75 to 80% of the people that use us each week have used us before. And, uh, you know, the uh, more I think about it now, uh, by keeping existing customers or retaining them has actually helped us get through the recession a lot easier. So, you know, just, I just want to add this thing, it's a great business tip, retain customers from day one if you can. You know? I think when you first start off, it's always difficult, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, one of the things that we tend to forget in running a business is hard work, you know? Um, you're never going to get nowhere without hard work. And, and, of course, the more you put in it, it's the more you get out of it. I think the most important thing is, you know, um, to keep going. You know, that's what I would say because, you know, if it's going to work for you, it, it, it will eventually work. It's just, it's just the persistence and, and the uh, the willing to succeed. But, you know, whenever you start a business, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think back, you know, that long ago, and um, it was difficult, yeah, because people, you know, just wasn't convinced. You know, I had no no sort of reputation, hadn't been around, just started off, and and people, you know, why do they want to gamble on you? But I think you've just got to reassure people and be honest with them and uh, just keep going.